Hi, welcome back to Tea Talks. Yes, today's tea is again Twining's Decaf Chai. Still a favorite. Yes. So our talk today is going to be our story, how we met. Yeah, and it starts um, on the campus of Maranatha Baptist Bible College, now Maranatha Baptist University. Um, it was the year, well, let's see, I got there in 2006, and uh, the first person I met was her brother. Uh, he was my crew leader on the custodial work crew, um, and another brother of hers was in my dorm. So I met both of them. It was my introduction to the family. Um, and it wouldn't be until a couple years later yep. she came to school. I was still in high school. I remember seeing a picture of my brother's crew. I went, huh, that guy looks weird. <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> yep, sounds like, sounds like me. <laughs> so um, I came to school in 2008, but we didn't, that was the year you took off. Yes, that, that was off that, the one semester. One semester. And so, semester, yeah. I, so. I don't think I met you until the fall of 2009. Mm -hmm. I think it was my first semester Probably. of sophomore year. Was that when you offered me the cookie? I think so, yeah. yeah. My mom, I love molasses cookies. And I think it was like October and I was really homesick, wanted to go home. That always hit me in October. Um, <clears throat> and I had asked my mom to send me a care package. I really wanted her cookies. So she sent me a bunch of cookies, molasses cookies. And there were a lot of them. I knew I was going to eat them all. Nor should I eat them all. So I was in the coffee shop at Maranatha and I was handing them out to my friends, and you at the time were no longer on custodial. No, at that point we were on, I was on trash crew. We'd go down to the different facilities and collect all the trash bags and then take them to one place um, where they would be collected by the, the city, I suppose. And um, so yeah, we were, a friend of mine and I were coming in just having finished that, uh, that job that day. Yeah, so they were clocking out. And then I went, hey, do you want a cookie? <laughs> and I almost said no. <laughs> well, the friend of our mutual friend, who friend of mine, mutual friend of ours, he went over to get one and I almost said no and walked away. But then I thought, who wouldn't want a free cookie? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so that was how we met. It was our first real interaction, I think. Yeah. Somebody had pointed you out to me before that time. And I said, like, oh, that's that's Ben and Randall's sister. And I said, okay. <laughs> so? And I thought nothing of it other than, okay. Um, I don't even know if he told me your name. He just pointed you out as their sister. I was like, all right. And yeah. I didn't know why he was doing that. Why why anyone wanted to, why anyone pointed you out to me. Then. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, it, it didn't really mean anything to me at the time. Yeah. But at that time, you and I were both kind of in other relationships. Right. True. Um, not super serious relationships. It's, I don't know. No. <clears throat> mine, never, mine never made it to Facebook, so it wasn't a real thing. <laughs> no, it didn't happen if it's not on Facebook. <laughs> so, as they say. Um, and so it was one of those where we didn't really start talking until the second semester. Right, spring spring break, right? Yeah. Wasn't it well, spring it was, break? It was right. When we were chatting on Facebook. That was. I turned, I feel like it was right after the Valentine's banquet. Um, I had gone on a super awkward first date with somebody to that banquet. We won't say any names here. I won't say any names. Let's list. It was just a big misunderstanding and I, and I I didn't know how to break to him that I, I thought this was just a friend thing. And it was not just a friend thing. <laughs> Well, so, not in his mind anyway. Not in his mind. Whoops. It was awkward. It was awkward. Um, and then 
you broke up with your girlfriend. Or she broke up with you sometime after that. Kind of mutual. Yeah. And then we just, we kind of started hanging out together after that. Yeah, we had mutual friends. We'd all kind of gather in the coffee shop and just hang out after classes were done and do homework or whatever. And um, so we interacted then, mm -hmm. but with other people. Like, so yeah. it, it still wasn't really like, at least in my, in my perspective, it really wasn't a thing yet. Mm -mm. Like we were just friends and knew we're each other friends. and had mutual friends. Yeah, and because at least the way I remember it, after you broke up, some of your friendships were kind of rocky. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so me and my friends were like, hey, let's start, we're going on these Thursday walks, so why don't we invite him to come with us? So our threesome became a foursome, yep. and, then sh and then we went on spring break. Yep. And that's, I remember being home, and this was when Facebook chat was a real big thing. This was for us. Yep. Um, where I would be on Facebook, and I would see that he was online, but I'd be talking with another friend. And I remember telling my other friend, oh, he's online. Should I talk to him? He's like, no. <laughs> like, let him initiate. Don't you push it. It's like, oh, and apparently I did. Because we did we talk did. like every day that week. It took a couple days. <clears throat> okay, well. It did take a couple days. I remember. Everything. And then and then he did start talking. And we just talked all spring break. Back and forth. <clears throat> yep. And um, and then when we got back from spring break, it was like our foursome became two twosomes. <laughs> yes. Yep. The quartet became two duets. Yes. Um, right. But our our first date. There actually is debate about this. There is debate. What was our first date? But now, <laughs> I have taken your side. Aha. Because I. I had, I basically forgotten about this. Um, or at least at the time, I didn't think of it as a date. But I guess it was. Um, More or less. So our friends, um, so the four of us always walked on Thursdays. And we could only walk so far without an official chaperone. Um, so anyway, we would go on walks around, around, around right. Watertown, right. Wisconsin. Off campus. Mm -hmm. like, off just campus. walking off campus around town. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, one of those weeks, my some friends of mine, the friends that we usually walk with, were like, hey, we can't go because we have something, something going on. Like and so I sent him a message. I'm like, hey they can't go, do you still want to go? Or no? Yeah, I think so. Or it was something or like that. Asked. Or maybe I asked you, I don't know. But yeah, we were like, do we still want to do this you without them? Go? And we decided, yes. Yeah, so yeah. pretty sure you initiated that one. I was like, hey, they're not gonna go. And you're like, well, we could still go. And I was like, all right, we can go. But I, I at the time, I think I was thinking of it more as, hey, I'm gonna hang out with my aunt. Friend. My friend that yeah. I'm very much interested in, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't see it as an official date. So I thought our first date, in my mind, the first date was the first thing he officially invited me to go with him to was the spring play. And that was just like a and month. It was after this walk. It was after the walk. The first walk we took, just us. Yep. And then, um. Yeah. We went to spring play together, and that would have been probably like April. Mm -hmm. And then he graduated in May. Yeah, true. Yeah, so I was only a sophomore, and he was graduating. And so we had to have some real discussions before then, like, all right, is this going to be a real relationship? Yeah, how is this going to work long distance, or mm -hmm. is it going to work long distance? Do we want to make this work? long distance yeah. do we like each other that much to do that 
spoiler alert, we did. We did. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Obviously. Um, Wouldn't be here if we did. And yeah, it was hard. Yeah. Long distance relationships are really hard. <laughs> so she had a couple more years of school after I graduated. I uh, went off to Ukraine on a mission trip <clears throat> that summer. And then I jumped into ministry at a church in Michigan. Um, and so I was about six hours away from Watertown, from where, where we were at, um, where she was at college. Uh, and so any weekends that I had the chance, I, I had Fridays were a day off for me. And so I would go, you know, either Thursday evening and take the drive or, or Friday morning early and drive the six hours through Chicago and all that mess uh, over to Watertown to spend whatever like hours I could. Hours. Sometimes I was driving more than I was even there. Um, but it was worth it. Mm -hmm. We'd go to plays if we could, or we'd just mm -hmm. kind of hang out or whatever was going on. Mm -hmm. um, hang out at my brother's apartment. I remember even sitting in classes with you sometimes. Yeah, um, sometimes you could come up I'd and go, you'd be there. You'd go to class. You'd come her. up on a Thursday night. You'd sleep in the dorm. Um, in the in the in the I knew one of the um, the well, guys dorm uh, supervisors, supervisor. and so he and I were friends from when mm -hmm. we were both doing classes and stuff together. So I would stay with him. Yeah, um, sleep on his couch. Sleep, yeah, just crash on the couch, and uh, <laughs> he was fine with it. It worked out well. And then he would go to class with me on Fridays. Yeah. And stuff, and then we'd have like half a Saturday, mm -hmm. and then he'd have to go back I'd because the six he had hours to be... back and be back for Sunday morning. You know, in time for or back Saturday evening, so then I could yep. be at church Sunday morning. And there was one time that some friends of mine were going to drive over to Michigan. And I was like, hey, if I can work this out, can I go with you and you guys drop us off where he's at in Michigan? But I want to surprise him. And so, because he had actually surprised me the summer before. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she was doing summer school. I was doing summer school. Showed up, unbeknownst to her, showed yes. up on, in town. Yes, that was, that was really cool. Spent a few days, a couple days. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before you left for your Her mom was in on it. Her brothers were in on it. Mm -hmm. She had no clue. So yeah, it was, I was fun. I actually jumped when I saw him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So, I just came and surprised you. Yes. Um, there in Michigan. So yeah, That was good. Yeah, so we... Alright, so timeline here. So, 2010 was when we met. When we... 2009 we met, 2010, May, is when we officially started dating. Mm -hmm. Parental approved. Right. Both uh, sides. Officially approved, etc. Facebook official. Yeah, that too. You know, all that. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, that next school year, it was long distance. We would call each other every night uh, mm -hmm. and talk to for about an hour. Pretty much every night. I mean, it was... Yeah. We even did like yeah. devotions together over the phone. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, we work through it separately, and we talk about we get what well, we had read in our devotions on the phone. We we're going through the same thing, so it was, it was a great spiritual bonding yeah. thing that we could do. Um, and so, and then we learned how to communicate very clearly with each other mm -hmm. over. Yeah, we talked on the phone. Right. So we would talk to each other on the phone. We talked to each other over like. Facebook chat or we talked to each other over texting <clears throat> before iPhones couldn't FaceTime. Yeah, I didn't have an iPhone till not too long ago, actually. <laughs> not a couple few years ago, I guess. Um and then yeah. uh and then that summer, two thousand eleven. Summer of two thousand eleven, after my junior year. You went on family vacation with us. Yeah, which was which was cool, but also a little interesting because you know me going along on a family vacation with them. I don't know, it just. But there was there was more to it than just me coming along with them on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so we went up to. Uh, we were dropping my brother off <clears throat> up in New Hampshire with his fiance. And um, because 
he and his fiance worked at the wilds of New England up in New Hampshire every summer. And so we dropped him off at her house and my now sister-in-law's father basically made some comment like, hey, I hear congratulations are in order. I was like, for what? We both were like, for I, why? For what? <laughs> of course, he knows. I, I didn't know at the time what was happening. Either I was naive or I was just yeah. not wanting to get excited about this But trip. he had jumped the, jumped the gun on, <laughs> wasn't, we had, I hadn't asked her yet. Um, so it was a little like, oh, no, not, not yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then we drove down to Connecticut, which is where, like we said last week, I was born, raised for mom, the first time. Your mom is from there too. My mom, yeah, my from mom was from Connecticut. Yeah. She was born, literally born and raised in Connecticut, went to UConn. Um, That's the University of Connecticut for those who don't know what that is. <laughs> oh. Hey, there may be somebody who doesn't know. Just saying. Okay. Um, if I didn't know, I wouldn't have known either. <laughs> um, anyway, we were down in Connecticut and we actually went over to Rhode Island to see the mansions. Yes. And we didn't get to go into any of the mansions though. No. We just saw them from Got afar through the pro fence. Properties, walked the property outside. Mm -hmm. Along the cliff edge. Uh, yeah, I'm on a cliff edge. The sun was setting. It was really pretty. And up ahead, there was this gazebo. Yeah, I missed a good opportunity on this one. It looked so pretty. It looked so pretty. And we went up there, and he just like, do you want to head back? I was like, oh. Everybody else was hanging back. I think they were expecting us. Probably. I think they were all expecting us. And to propose right there on the mountain, Probably on the I was, cliff. I was nervous, <clears throat> in part. There were other people, and that made me nervous. Yeah. So. so. I think, was it the next day? I think it was the next day. I think it was the next day. We got dropped off at Mystic Seaport in Mystic. Cool place. Yeah, in Mystic, Connecticut. Um, and I could tell it was going to happen. Because he had a very nervous tick at the time, which was to sniffle a lot. His nose would just run whenever he was nervous. Yep. And his nose was running like a faucet. Like a what? <laughs> <laughs> so I was, yep. um, yeah, so I basically knew it. So I was trying to actually rush through the museum so we could get to the point where he was going to propose. So, yep. Because I was like, all right. And so we found a bench. We sat like down. Water. And on well, no, well, hold on. We found one bench, and I was oh. like, let's go to this other bench that's over that way. That's right. And so we did. Yeah, and that was on a dock out Pretty, by the It was the a little lake. more private than the other bench. I, I prefer the private setting. Yeah, so it was out there. And, um, and we had done like some getting to know you questions before and one of the questions it's like if you could ask somebody yeah. like anybody you wanted or something like that like one question what would it be and so i asked her that again i was like hey so that one question and uh so she she gave me an answer and then i was fumbling for an answer i was trying to be like amazingly romantic and it wasn't <laughs> working um <laughs> I fumbled a little with the answer and then I said, but I did want to ask you a question. So then I had, I had had the ring in my pocket the whole time, not in the box though, because I didn't want it to like be obvious. Um, but then I was afraid, as soon as I pulled it out, I was afraid I was gonna drop it through the, the slats yeah. in the dock and it was gonna be gone. I remember seeing you put your hand into your pocket and I was like, oh my God. And it looked like your hand was getting like stuck and I was like, it's gonna fall. <laughs> Thought I was gonna lose the ring, I didn't. Um, um, into the water, yeah, because you were on a dock, you know. So, um, so I asked her, and she, I know, said, she yes. said yes. I said yes. <laughs> that's what I was hey, look at this thing. Yeah, that's. I can't. It's not focusing. And that's uh, anyway. Engagement ring and wedding band together. Yes. Um, she had them put together when we got married. Yeah. 
So that was May or June? Yeah, May or June, sure. <laughs> summer. It summer. was summer yes. of 2011. <clears throat> and then we decided to get married on May 5th of 2012. Not purposely Cinco de Mayo, but we did it because it was the day after she graduated from college. Which, okay, for anybody, okay, anybody young, in college, in a relationship, and trying to pick a date for a wedding, do not pick the date after you graduate from college. Like the next day. Uh, it was a very stressful semester, that last semester. It was just yep. all the pressure, all the stress. And because I'm I was still six hours away. And so we had to make like marital counseling, you know, how are we gonna make this work? And some, I think once or twice it was over the phone or something, or once it was over the phone. Well, no, some of it was over you the came phone. for the couples conference Right. And basically that was like, okay, this is going to count as like three or four of your premarital sessions. Um, and then you came up, I think twice. Yeah. For actual, like in office premarital counseling. counseling. Okay. <clears throat> I thought it went over the phone, but maybe, maybe that didn't work out for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, we made that work. But that was, yeah. That was, was a lot. lot. You. It was a lot. I was very stressed. I didn't do well academically that semester because my focus was not really on my academics it was on this guy and the future and I was like okay all I just gotta do is pass yeah just get through it yes and, and so you did. you did yeah so I graduated on May 4th we picked up my dress I had the rehearsal that evening that evening and we got married the next afternoon. Yeah. And then we did something else that was also stupid. Oh, yeah. We decided to drive after our wedding. Drive, what, six hours? It was, it was like four. Four the hours? first leg of the trip was like four hours. I guess true. So Wisconsin down to Indiana. Yeah. Four hours oh, after four our hours. wedding. Don't, don't do that. It was exhausting. And then the next day, we drove another... Twelve? Yeah... No, it wasn't quite that long. Maybe 10. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was 12. I'd have to look that up again. I don't remember. No, we it was went, a long, another several hours uh, to Tennessee. Very long. Very long drive. And uh, I don't recommend doing that. Yeah. And then we it spent, gave us a lot of time to talk. And, it did. And it was, it was okay. Talk it just and dream. It was a lot of driving. So. I think we even picked up baby tickets on that trip. Yeah, I think we so. We've been married for 24 did. hours. <laughs> Writing Why down not? names of future children. Why not? <laughs> we had the time to... I think Alethe was the top of the list. Probably. Our oldest. Yes. I learned it in Greek class. It's a Greek word that means truth. Mm -hmm. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, so that's how we got married. And then we've been married now for almost 11 years. Yeah. Coming up. Uh, 11 well, years this May. This yeah. May. Mm -hmm. And we have three kids. Yep. And we've been in ministry this whole time. Yep. Church ministry. Yeah. That's our story. That's our story. I was hoping to do this in 15 minutes. No, nah, it's all right. It's been only 23. <laughs> it's not too bad. Your story's worth it. It is. <laughs> <laughs> So, again, as we said before, um, comment below the video if you have uh, a conversation topic uh, or topics that you want us to explore and, and uh, to talk about. Um, and also, if you have a tea that you want us to try, um, that you enjoy, uh, or maybe one you don't enjoy that you want us to try, uh, let us know as well. Uh, comment about that and we will uh, we'll do that. So, yeah. until next time. Bye! bye.